Hello guys, uh, so uh, I decided to make a For Honor review or uh, overview, call it uh, however however it suits you, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, so, uh, set in a brutal fantasy world that uh, romanticizes uh, history's greatest warrior, players are thrown head first into a four-way conflict, knights, vikings, samurai and wulin continually wage war in never-ending battle for supremacy, where legacies are written in blood, with its fantastic imagery and designs, For Honor succeeds in immersing you in a world of constant strife and heroic fighters. There's a story mode where you'll likely begin your uh, foray into what can be surprisingly complex and punishing multiplayer focusing, uh, focused game, with uh, 3 chapters and uh, 18 missions. The campaign servers uh, are as an uh, extended tutorial, allowing you to refine your combat skills before seeking out human opponents. It does uh, a decent job of uh, uh, covering uh, the basics, yet offers very little in terms of storytelling and uh, establishing memorable characters. After all, each hero is basically a nameless avatar. Uh, so we've definitely seen uh, Ubisoft try to lean in and uh, expand for honors lore over the years. Third person one on one combat is for honors bread and butter. Uh, when bearing down on an opponent a three sided icon will appear in the game game's UI. Uh, denoting their stance, uh, either up, left or right. So uh, this is something that I would like, uh, I, will, I, I call a stance dance, you know. You have upper one, you have left one, you have right one. If the active uh, part of the icon is white, uh, then they are currently guarding in that direction. Uh, changing to red when they attack, uh, being able to react and outsmart your enemy is the very essence of combat and that's where uh, for Honor uh, shines. Uh, that's where For Honor shines, and uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's where challenging uh, begins. You know, uh, especially uh, if you play versus players that are playing from uh, 2017, 18, 19. Especially if you're playing with the uh, players that uh, have a uh, like uh, five, six, seven thousand uh, hours into the game. You know what I mean. To, uh, through, a, through a combination of attacks, blo uh, blocks, uh, dodges, parries and uh, stuns you'll uh, whittle down their health while at the same time managing your stamina. Each of the game's 30 heroes, uh, no, each of the, uh, I mean, uh, it's there is more now, there's 34 heroes. Each of the game's 34 heroes has their own particular movesets and quirks. That's the second thing that makes... Uh, that makes For Honor amazing, adding an uh, impressive uh, amount of uh, depth to combat. The Nobushi, for example, excels in uh, evading her enemy while poking them with poison, uh, poisonous attacks. Meanwhile, heroes such as Warlord and Conqueror can create a shield wall, blocking all incoming attacks. Over time, you'll begin to learn their various combos and uh, nuances uh, as you will uh, with uh, Ryu. Uh, in Street Fighter or uh, Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. However, the third person over the shoulder camera and game uh, modes available separate for honor from every uh, separate for honor from every other fighting game out there. When playing Dominion, where you capture checkpoints or tribute capturing the flags, Ubisoft's inspiration from online shooters is clear to see. Yet the fusion with a unique melee combat system creates something so unique and refreshing. For Honor in 2024, what's changed? A quick glance at the original For Honor roster and how it has changed underlines the amount of work Ubisoft has put into the game over the years. Besides throwing new fighters into the fray, Ubisoft has reworked a number of heroes, constantly keeping an eye on the meta for mostly balancing uh, play field, playing field. Uh, 2018's uh, Marching Fire marked a major milestone for the game, uh, an incredible expansion packed with uh, two new mo modes and a whole new faction. 
uh, the Wulin, including four fun-to-play fighters. In Breach, For Honor players finally got the chance to immerse themselves in epic siege battle, each match feeling like a nail-biting tag or a war as the warriors uh, look to push or impede an uh, encroaching uh, battering ram. Attacking teams who make it past uh, the second uh, gate must then kill the enemy commander, carefully conserving their precious respawn reserves. Breach and all its maps are free to all players, regardless of uh, whether they purchased uh, Marching Fire. Meanwhile, those who forked out uh, for the DLC did gain access to another mode, considerably boosting the amount of single player contact on offer. Arcade has you running a series of combat scenarios, each layering on uh, gameplay modifications to steadily ramp up the challenge and keep uh, each alt skirmish uh, feeling fresh. With Ubisoft having buffed out the chinks uh, in its armor over the years, there are now few flaws to pick out when uh, playing for honor in 2024 and 2025, uh, hopefully. Just about every aspect, uh, from uh, connectivity and player progression to tutorials and customization, uh, has been constantly worked on over the past half deca decade. And uh, while it would uh, have been nice to see more uh, game modes thrown into the mix, there's been uh, no shortage of uh, experimental events. Ubisoft's time is uh, better spent on building for Runner Raster, which makes me respect uh, Ubisoft uh, as a company because they did an amazing, really, really amazing job with for Runner. Uh, where uh, For Honor really shines is uh, PvP. I mean, uh, don't take me wrong, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, campaign is nice. It's nice to play with uh, knights, uh, it's nice to play with uh, vikings, samurais, and uh, all that uh, kind of things, but uh, where the game really shines and what is keeping this game up is PvP. So once again, if you're a guy or a girl that enjoys PvP, uh, this is game. This is game for you. So, uh, for example, over here we have Breach. Uh, fight uh, for victory in uh, four versus four Breach. As attackers uh, breach the gates with your ram and kill the commander. As defenders guard the gates and protect your commander. This is amazing. This is four versus four. Uh, you can invite your friends, uh, you can add your friends, uh, I mean, you can add your, you add, add a player that you want to play with, uh, you can make clans, you can make a guild, you can make all that kind of thing, you know. Uh, over here we have a 4 versus 4 uh, Dominion, a fight uh, to dominate uh, the battlefield uh, in Dominion, reach 1000 points to break uh, and uh, eliminate uh, the opposing, uh, opposing team by killing enemies and uh, controlling objectives. Over here we have a uh, 4 vs 4, which is a tribute uh, uh, source uh, the offerings and gain the blessings of the gods for you and your team. Steal your enemies' offerings and make sure they don't steal yours. That's about it. Uh, uh, also 4 vs 4, you can play with your friends and all that kind of good stuff. And over here we have a uh, 4 vs 4 uh, deathmatch. Uh, Fight the opposing, uh, opposing uh, team in sky, uh, skirmish uh, and uh, elimination uh, mode. So defeat the enemies uh, by reaching 1000 points uh, in skirmish or destroy all their heroes. No respawn, which is uh, mean that they, they, won't be, they won't be able to respawn uh, anymore in uh, elimination mode. Uh, next, uh, we have a duel and brawl. This is my favorite. Over here, you have a one versus one duel. Uh, this is uh, this is just a normal uh, duel. I, I mean, uh, don't take me wrong. Uh, you can you can get a lot of uh, really nice armor. I mean, also uh, you can get uh, epic armor. You can get uh, you can get legendary armor, weapons, all that kind of stuff. You know, if you if you if you are willing to grind and uh, and uh, learn to play the game. And over here we have ranked duel beta, which is player versus player. This is this is where things get. Uh, a little bit tricky because uh, 
there's a lot of players uh, there's a lot of players that are playing uh, this game for like uh, two three four five six years you know and uh, ranked dual beta is uh, is uh, much much harder than uh, one versus one simple duel you know so uh, uh, in ranked dual beta uh, you can uh, you can get uh, you can get amazing uh, rewards uh, such as uh, decorations uh, items and uh, all that kind of stuff you know so that you can uh, customize uh, uh, you can customize your character etc etc and over here we have a two versus two two versus two brawl uh, so uh, for example you can invite a friend uh, a friend and uh, and uh, play uh, two versus two with him uh, against uh, against some uh, some other opponent. You know, it's uh, it's just amazing. It's just amazing, and uh, I don't really I don't really know what to say about uh, uh, For Honor anymore. Uh, this game is very unique. This game is very unique, and I don't think there is a similar game even today after seven years. So, For Honor was released uh, back in 2017, what it's been, uh, almost uh, 7 years since it's been released, and uh, there's, the m I can't say millions, but hundreds of thousands players uh, playing uh, For Honor, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just amazing, it's, it's really amazing, so... Uh, Let's give us let's let's give a try for a, for a breach. I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna stay the whole match, but uh, yeah, uh, let me give you an idea how uh, how breach works. So uh, over here, uh, matchmaking searching. Uh, we are waiting for like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we are waiting for seven more players uh, to join. And uh, as you can see over there, breach four versus four uh, high activity, uh, which means. Uh, which means uh, uh, that uh, there's a very high activity in, uh, in Breach. There's a very high activity in Breach. Uh, there's a very high activity in 2 vs. 2. There's very high activity in, uh, in uh, Dominion. All that kind of things, you know. So, uh, it, it, maybe it takes like a minute or two to find a match, you know. All 8 players, which is, uh, which is really amazing. And uh, where uh, actually, yeah, actually, hold on, cancel matchmaking. Uh, uh, right. Uh, the second thing and the best thing where For Honor really, really shines and make and makes the game really unique is characters and characters customization. As you can see, I have over here my warden. And uh, I can go for customize. This is my loadout one. This is my loadout two. And this is uh, I didn't I didn't uh, customize uh, this one because uh, I'm just playing with my loadout one, which is uh, this big boy over here. So uh, for example, uh, I can I can I, I can do literally everything. You know, like I like I said in a, in a previous videos. Uh, just check this. Uh, just check these outfits. Just check this out with this is uh, this is insane. I mean uh, Ubisoft uh, worked their asses uh, to to actually to actually make this uh, happen and uh, uh, a lot of respect to, to Ubisoft. Uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, this is uh, this is amazing. I'm really grateful that I can uh, play for honor and uh, yeah uh, that's uh, battle. Then you have elite. Uh, look how many. Then you have Mythic. Then you have Illustrations. Then you have Reputations. I mean, look how many of these different things are there. Then you can customize... Uh, this is a gender. Uh, this is a female. Uh, this is a male. Uh, then you have a skin color over here. Uh, not the skin color of the armor, right? Then you can customize your head. You can customize your... Uh, uh, ornaments, uh, all that kind of stuff. Right shoulder, left, left shoulder, material, which is, uh, uh, which defines, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can see, you can see on the picture what it does, you know. You can see on the picture of what it does. Uh, 
it just makes your armor, for example, this is yellow, this is uh, some red-ish, or something between red and orange, uh, amber, yeah, and uh, all that kind of things, you know, then you can have uh, back uh, standards, uh, these are standards, uh, this uh, what we wear uh, uh, on our legs, and uh, colors, exactly, colors, uh, colors of... Uh, of everything even 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 the back even the back you can you can customize uh, you can customize it uh, uh, however you want uh, but uh, look how many classes are there look how many classes are there and you can custom customize every single one of them one two three four five nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 22, 26, 25, 6, 20, 28, 29, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 3435 so uh yeah uh you can uh, i i will i will show you for example okay this is a low bringer uh, let's customize the uh, low bringer helm uh, oh, let's see let's see over here customize uh head so uh, look uh, symbol you can put a symbol over there embossing uh, all that kind of things uh let me let me I, i'm not i'm 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 a warden guy i'm a, i'm a knight guy so uh i'm just showing you how to customize this uh this uh, big boy over here and uh okay so for permanent let let's choose this this is amazing this is really amazing look at this okay let's do this one a uh, right shoulder oh we have a we have even uh, prepared well look at this we have even prepared the uh, outfits I mean, uh, just like previous. L look how this character looks like. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these things. Uh, but uh, if you don't want uh, outfits, uh, uh, battle elite uh, mythic illustration reputation, you can by all means on every single character in For Honor, you can customize uh, however you want uh, and. Uh, uh, you can put your banner over there. You can you, you can literally do uh, uh, whatever you want. And uh, uh, this is how we make uh, this is how we make our banner profile. There, there it is. And uh, when it comes to banner, uh, you can you whatever you imagine, you can put. You can put Italy flag, you can put USA flag, you can put uh, Punisher, you can put, uh, I don't know, you can put country flags, you can put your own, uh, whatever you imagine, you can put over there. And this defines you, like, uh, this is your banner. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, it's like, uh, you can put it on your traits, you can put it on your back, you know. So uh, it really, it really looks amazing. It really looks amazing. I mean, I don't know what to say about the game. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's, it's really amazing. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, that will be pretty much it. Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot uh, to mention that we will have two more classes coming in the next uh, 15 or 20 days. So even more classes uh, will be in For Honor, guys. Even more classes. So, uh, yeah, Ubisoft is uh, really, really uh, working their asses, uh, like I said, and uh, thank you very much uh, for that, Ubisoft. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh you can you can add me you can add me uh the, the uh, my uh discord and uh, ubisoft tag will be in the description of the video you know you can add me so we can play together have some fun uh etc etc but uh, i would really like uh, to uh 
to thank uh, two of my friends uh, for this. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Grey Wolf, uh, which is uh, one amazing friend of mine that uh, taught me literally everything. Uh, that taught me literally everything uh, when it comes to game. Uh, he uh, he was there. Uh, he was there for me. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, his uh, his YouTube tag is the God Slayer 66, and uh, his uh, uh, his uh, Ubisoft tag is a Grey Wolf. Uh, so uh, I would really like to thank uh, my brother for that, and uh, other brother is uh, Crimson Knight. Uh, uh, really, really amazing guys. I I really love to play with them. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Gray, for uh, teaching me all kind of things. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, 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 let's give it. Uh, let's give it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight point eight. Eight point nine out of ten. Eight point nine out of ten. Uh, that will be my. Uh, that 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 will be my uh, score for uh, for honor. Yeah. So, uh, a really amazing game, uh, if you can afford it, uh, I mean, it's not even expensive, you know, uh, if you have PS4, if you have a PS5, if you have a Xbox, uh, you can play it on, even on a PC, on a personal computer, you know, it's just like, uh, you can play it on, uh, on, on computer, you know, uh, just uh, get yourself, uh, so it's a little bit tricky to play, uh, to play on uh, on a keyboard and mouse, but uh, just get yourself an Xbox controller, and there you go. You can play it just like you have PS5 or PS4. Uh, that's it. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, share, and like. Uh, comment down below if I said something wrong so that I can correct myself and uh, help the channel grow. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, and, uh, yeah, thanks again for stopping by, uh, cheers, cheers, cheers.